Have you dated white girls? I dated them briefly, didn't really like it. I've never dated Asian actually. It was kind of hard in the beginning and uh, I, I just feel, I don't know what to say. I've been with white girls. Huh. Why is it that other Asian men have a harder time dating outside of their race? I don't know, but it sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is Isabel Du with ABCs of Attraction. We've been talking to the ladies this entire time, but today we are going to be talking to the Asian men. We're going to pick their brains because according to the U.S. Census Bureau, Asian women are three times more likely to marry white men versus Asian men with white women. So why is that? Is that because Asian men don't like white women or is it because they don't want to date outside their race? What is it? We're going to find out some answers and you guys are going to come along with me. Have you dated somebody outside of your race? Yeah, I've never dated Asian actually. Oh! Because yeah. I grew up in Europe. I, I never had Asians around me. I had like one Asian guy in my whole high school. Uh, no. no, I have not. Mm, no. 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 Actually, no. Yes. You have? Okay. What kind of girls have you dated? Um, primarily Latinas and a few African Americans. Yes. You have? Uh, maybe no. No? Yeah. So it's only been Asians? Yeah. I've, um, I haven't dated white girls, but like, I've been with white girls. Oh. Yes. Haven't, as in you haven't been in a relationship with yeah. white girls, but you have dated them. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, actually I have. Um, my first few girlfriends are Filipinas, uh, Panay, and then my last one was Korean. I am Korean, so. Okay. What about girls who are like white or black? I dated them briefly, didn't really like it. Yeah? Like, Why is that? I don't know, just felt like I didn't I don't know, connect with them as much as I did with the Asian ones. Half white. Half, Half white. So no full white yet? No. What was it like to date somebody outside of your race and, as opposed to somebody who is Asian? Um, actually she is Asian, but then not exactly, I mean she's half. If you could pick any celebrity that's the kind of girl that you would date, who would it be? Any celebrity. Any celebrity. I would say um, Teresa Palmer. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think celebrities are that attractive because they're just portrayed to us that way. Uh, Tiana G. Who's that? Oh, she's hot. Um, there's another girl named um, Anna Sherry. Yeah, she's hot too. I'd want to get with get with them because they exercise, they work out. Oh, okay, okay. They're not Asian either, so I don't know. Are they? Well, you should check them out. Probably Fan Bingbing. Oh, I. She's so you know gorgeous. Her? Yes. Oh my gosh, who doesn't? She's gorgeous. Ariana Grande. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's absolutely attractive. Um, I would like to date Taylor Swift. She's taller than me and she's white. You could still date her. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you could most definitely date her for sure. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah. Do you think it's harder to date outside of your race as an Asian guy? Mm, I believe so. Because it's just, uh, just this unspoken difference, I guess. The Western society women likes when a guy approaches, but as Many Asians, like the majority of them, don't like to make the first step and they are mostly shy and they're socially not so open. I think there's a culture barrier. Mm -hmm. uh, I came here five years ago and uh, I have tried. It was kind of hard in the beginning and uh, I, I just feel, I don't know what to say in mm -hmm. front of them. Probably it's for the language barrier and uh, also uh, it's just a very exotic culture for me and mm. uh, that that is a contributive reason for me for not a very successful <laughs> attempt to date another a woman from a different race. I see. Would you keep trying? Uh, Why is it that other Asian men have a harder time dating outside of their race? I don't know, but it sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, we just care, you know, do you, right? Well, for now, yeah. I mean, it's pretty easy for me, but I guess for Asian men in general, it would be harder because I have had, like, white women say to me before, oh my God, that's the first time an Asian guy's approached me. Would I initiate approaching a white girl? 
um, I'd be a more I'd be a bit more hesitant than approaching an Asian, but I I would approach a white girl. More Asian men need to be like more assertive and approach women, but I also feel like um, part of the reason why women in general might not be might not seem eager to date Asian men is because of the media. Do you think it'd be easier or harder to date white girls? Um, I think probably yes. I think they are more open than Asian girls. Oh, so you think it's easier? Yeah. <laughs> mm, okay. If an Asian is attractive, physically attractive to them, and a Cauca another Caucasian male is also attractive, they're not going to just immediately choose the Caucasian guy over the Asian guy because the Asian guy is yellow. I think I'm more familiar with my classmates in the Asians, so I just uh, dated with them. I'm not in favor of any uh, particularly Asian woman or a woman from another race. I think a fair chance is that I'm, I may have a different race uh, partner for my marriage. Yep. You're in favor of love. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up with a few closing thoughts here. What I found today is that all these guys I met they all have the common denominator of being Asian, right? But they have all these different backgrounds. I mean, you have the guy who came from China recently, and then you have the guy who was born and raised in Europe. So they have all these different experiences. And something that um, I heard mentioned a lot was opportunity. And I think that comes from the situation and upbringing that they have. I mean, if you're the kind of guy who's been around like white people all your life, then you're gonna have to be more familiar, more comfortable with appro approaching a Caucasian girl. As opposed to say an Asian guy who's been around Asians his entire life, then he's gonna be more familiar and comfortable with an Asian girl. But it's about, um, but when you step outside of your comfort zone, I think that's great. And, um, and it's gonna be new and possibly awkward. And, but opportunity is also putting yourself out there and putting yourself outside your comfort zone. And it's being prepared for the opportunity. Meaning you gotta keep persist persisting and learning how to be ready for that Th that moment and, and that opportunity and um, as the more you put yourself out there the more confidence you gain and that's needed for any kind of relationship or dating. Thanks again for tuning in with ABC's of Attraction. I'm Isabel Du and I will see you guys next time. Have you been approached by Asian men? We're not skinny enough. <laughs> no, that is not true. I, I mean, I'm married. Yeah. Oh, you're married. I got you. I'm not really approached by many guys, actually. I'm attracted to white men. I mean, the anime nerds. There's something about it. Right? Hey, everybody. This is Isabel Du with ABC's of Attraction. And today, I'm in Hollywood. And I'm about to go on the streets to look for gorgeous girls to ask them the burning question of, do Asian men approach you? So let's go check out and see 